Hi, Jerry here for ChallengeLifeBetter.com. Are you living life like there's no tomorrow? Now, most people would say absolutely not. I don't race cars. I don't jump out of perfectly good airplanes with a parachute. I don't scuba dive. I don't hang glide. I don't race 150 horsepower go-karts, etc., etc. So what would that question have to do with the 99% of us that seem to have reasonable common sense. Well, it turns out that a lot of us actually do live like, like there's no tomorrow, live life like there's no tomorrow. With the choices that we make in our lives, we may be staying up too late. We may be addicted to some late night television show that steals from our, our energy the next day. We may be addicted to online poker. We may be uh, drinking a little bit too much. We may be smoking cigarettes. There's a lot of little things that you really don't think about that cheat you out of a better, longer life. Now, there are people that say, well, it's when it's your time, it's your time. Okay, well, let's go with that. If that's the case, then if you have some appointed out number of days you're going to live, then we have to refer to the quality of life. Do you want at some ex extreme age, if you get there, to end up on a feeding tube in a nursing home? Of course not. I want to die like the Tibetans would die at 110 or 115 falling off a cliff in the, in the Himalayas. I don't want to be uh, in a situation where others are taking care of me. So what we have to do is we have to mitigate our risks in life on a small incremental basis. We have to look at the things we do and say, is this something that's going to cheat me out of either quality or quantity of life? And I think all of us have enough common sense to know when those things are presented to us and how we can actually uh, back away from decisions that we've made in the past. For myself, for many, many, many years, I would drink Diet Colas. Well, until I found out and was better educated on the idea that a lot of the artificial sweeteners actually are neurotoxins and they can actually cause brain damage. So I backed off of any kind of, of diet, diet cokes, or diet drinks, any, any materials that are uh, fabricated to imitate sugar because most of them are some form of toxin. Now that's one example. I've cut back on sugar. I try not to eat much sugar because sugar is also a toxin. Refined sugar, it doesn't occur in nature. So the body is is uh, having to deal with that. That's another way of living life like there's no tomorrow. Uh, I had a, a question. I asked a friend who is really going through uh, all the reserves in his body to where by the time he was 45, he looked like he was 70. And I just asked him one day, I felt really bad for him. And I said, Henry, uh, you know, what are you going to do when you wear out this body? You have another one hanging in the closet that you're going to get? And he just laughed and he said, oh, I'm making the best out of life. I, I'm having a great time. I went to his funeral 20 years ago. That was unfortunate. He was a really good individual. But he burned through everything he had in his being. So what we have to do is we have to realize that we are, in fact, capable of of, of hang gliding and scuba diving, metaphorically speaking, in our lives. We have to look at the things that we do and improve our health. Because as the old uh, commercial in the 60s used to say, well, you've got your health, you've got just about everything. And that was a bit of a cliche, but I'm finding in my 60s now that I think that is about as true as it, it comes, because if you don't have that, 
you really don't have much because you can have all the money in the world. And if you are lying in a hospital bed, what good does it do? So what I'd like you to look at, what I'd like you to take away from this, from this commentary is examine your life on a daily basis and say, look, I've only got one body. I'm only going to be given this one body for the entire length of my life. What can I do to make my life better? It may not affect you right away, the things that you are choosing. But over the long run, those things add up. It's like people have back problems. They generally don't get back problems instantly. Uh, the back is a, a large joint, many, many joints put together. And it deteriorates over time. And all of a sudden, it reaches a tipping point and you have some major problems. The rest of the body is very similar. You may be doing something, for example, the microtoxins in artificial sweeteners actually can steal your cognition. It can steal from your ability to make good choices to uh, even stay alive because if enough of the uh, neurotoxins are absorbed, it can tip into cancer or dementia or a number of other uh, debilitating diseases. So I would just like you to take from this, examine your life carefully and give yourself a reward. Give yourself the gift of life because there's not anybody out there. If you, if you have the idea that somebody else is in charge of your, of your health, I'm not talking about health care. I'm talking about your health. That, that is not a good idea. Take charge of that. And realize that you are the person, you are the person, ultimately, that has to answer in the end for the choices that were made. I believe that if you make good choices, you really examine it and make really good choices, in the end, that is a way to challenge life better. I know you can do it. Until next time, this is Jerry. Be well.